A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel, The Twin Flame Union. In this channeling session, I would be talking about the divine masculine is missing the divine feminine a lot. He's very unhappy without her, but he is stubborn or not to accept it to others and also to his own self. The divine masculine energy can be in a man as well as it can be in a woman. So let's get started. For personal readings, guidance on dream interpretation, counseling and therapies, please go through the description box first. And once you're sure, then please write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com. When it comes to twin flame intuitive readings, I prefer not knowing anything about you, about your journey before the reading so that we can get the best and most accurate answers. But in case of therapies, you have to share with me different facets of your life so that we can heal the wounded inner child, which then leads to a 5D union. You can also get my book in the name of love, which has five channel twin flame stories based on the journey of finding your ultimate soulmate. Connect with me on Instagram at the Sunamoon Goddess. And you can also subscribe to my channel, the Sunamoon Vlogs, to get interesting content supporting Ascension lifestyle. Yes, Ascension is a lifestyle. So basically, the Divine Masculines are a stubborn lot. And it's a good thing because stubborn people are always genuine as well. And they do not believe in anything very easily until and unless they have collected some kind of database or they have some kind of validation or proof for it. They always have a calling or a feeling that they should get some kind of proof and then only they would believe on something. Now, this goes on really well when you are in the warrior energy. There are two types of energy, warrior energy and mother energy. Now, warrior energy is what the divine masculines are really good in operating. So in the worldly world, in the materialistic world, they are pretty good. They know how to, how to make people like them. They are kind of social and uh, they are responsible as well. You can't say that the divine masculines are irresponsible. Just in case you are dating someone who you think is your divine masculine twin flame, but that person is highly irresponsible and very um, extremely lazy, has a lot of addictions, is a very difficult person when it comes to, you know, doing something for other people, over pampered, extremely privileged, then that cannot be the divine masculine. It has to be a false twin. False twins are uh, extremely into give and take. And they are extremely into sexual give and take, especially. They are very bodily oriented. They are operating on the lower frequencies, but they put on a very nice mask. Sometimes they can appear to be like actual twin, but they are not. The actual twin is definitely a good person, much more sorted than many other people. Obviously, they are awakened and they are enlightened ones, but they are not fully awakened or fully enlightened, just like the feminines. Feminines have a lot of power, they have the chaser energy, they have higher intuition, but they are also operating on some sort of lower frequency which is connected to guilt and shame. So what happens is that their own self-worth is low because of that, you know. When your self-worth is low, then you also need validation, right? You need some kind of proof. So they try to seek that validation from the divine masculine, which is why they suffer which is why the Divine Masculine runs away from them. So in a way, you can say that if the Divine Feminine is still operating on those energies, still she feels confused about herself, still she has not fully accepted herself. So then as per opposite polarity rules, he is going to reflect it in his energy also. Now in this case, this channeling... Why this channeling falls into the final stages, I'll tell you, because both are actually trying to surrender. Both of them are trying to surrender 
and you can say that the feminine or the chaser has already surrendered here and the chaser has surrendered in such a way that they have done everything they as in if there are more people they, the chasers as per this energy have done everything they could so they feel really like disrespected now they feel that they went beyond their self respect trying to convince them trying to talk them talk to them and they in this case the feminine and masculine are sort of evolved so they have spent a good amount of time with each other they have even lived with each other in some cases or the families could also be involved so it's not like um, how typically the twin flame thing starts for many people but the problem is that the divine masculine cannot differentiate between real and fake he is really not good in that department as of now he might be having lot of knowledge and because of that knowledge sometimes the divine masculine can confuse other people and they can pretend to be very happy so when he goes away from the divine feminine he thinks that now at last i will be happy he has been told he listened to too many people who were not his well wishers who had their own selfish interest and most of the times the selfish interest revolves around materialistic things so maybe those well wishers so called well wishers of the divine masculine they're insecure that if the divine masculine goes away from their life how will they manage how will they do things that is one of the area second thing is ego for some people because see narcissistic uh, people they also operate on lower frequencies and when you ascend the narcissistic hold cannot work on you right and this can only happen when the divine feminine works on herself some parts of the divine feminine also they need healing maybe the divine feminine has not yet healed the patriarchy energy completely maybe she still has some issues with the patriarchal energy which could be either in mother or it could either be in father so even she still needs to figure out that who is the person who loves me unconditionally maybe the divine masculine has some grudges has some anger issues or feels that i was not uh, given enough support or love or attention or if not all of that then maybe understanding maybe divine feminine was always different from other people so something was amiss so these are the things that the divine feminine has to work on their own she has to be like a detective you know how a detective finds things and solves cases something like that so in this case the divine feminine has done pretty good work in life but there's a lack of confidence like you know how we can pull things off when we know we can pull it off we don't care about when why how or this and that but we just know that we can pull it off so we don't make that extra effort or we don't get uh, too excited or we don't get too depressed we just say okay i got to do it and it will be done on its own most of the times most of our things actually happen on their own but when we are in survival energies or we are in lower frequency energies then we don't operate properly divine masculine also is going through these lower frequencies because his or her understanding of love is not clear divine masculine in this case is thinking that romantic love is real love but romantic love is never love it's the worst form of love actually and the problem is that the corporations and the big companies and all those who are selling you products and all those who brainwash you so that you can live under slavery which is also a lower form of energy you must be thinking why this lower form of energy because people who use control mind control and they want to uh, you know control people and get their power they are basically reptilian rulers on planet earth we have both type of people we have nirvanas and we have the reptilians nirvanas are very powerful people the light workers the people who have come from higher galaxies or other galaxies if not higher they have come from twin star galaxies they have come from places where there is no concept of darkness so when they come to earth initially they face a lot of trouble but they start decoding 
all the things and they have to do it on their own twin flames also fall into that category some of the twin flames in fact i personally feel maximum twin flames have some star seed dna so obviously they feel like an alien they don't understand what humans are doing because they have been told that human beings are like this human beings are made from the so the same speck of light which the same soul that's made that source is made of so they trust everyone and they believe everyone and they have been suddenly they realize because all star seeds are supposed to lose their memory on planet earth so when you are born maybe for 2 years 3 years 4 years for a certain period of time you would be in your god zone like you all your chakras would be working you would be a very happy child a chilled out child a child who's who's doesn't need anyone very independent type of a child very emotionally mentally physically also independent but this is earth there are certain rules and regulations that people need to follow otherwise without the memory what will happen is you will get negatively programmed and conditioned and all these lower frequency energies all the fear based energies like guilt shame anger all of that will not anger sorry rage all of that will seep into your dna and your dna already has those uh, extra spaces or you can say junk spaces or maybe you are born in a certain template that you have to heal that template now you cannot heal that template until and unless you understand what that template is is template is all about right and when you heal your own template don't think you heal only your template because in your template also there are say a number of people when they see you when they get inspired by you or even if they don't change in this life they will change somewhere or the other you do your job you've done your work you've healed the template and then that will have some kind of a uh, effect like a it's like getting inspired by other people so much just by looking at their lifestyle just, just by looking at their peace of mind their their spiritual achievement you see they are so content obviously they have been working on themselves for many years now the divine masculine in this channeling this person is very stubborn this or all these people are very stubborn the feminine sees this stubbornness as a problem but in my opinion this is actually a good thing because if the masculine is going to be stubborn he is or she is going to be like i know this and this is correct but when this person starts feeling unhappy stubborn people are not idiots they are not stupid people they are just stubborn they need some kind of a proof so they might be thinking or they might have been told by the decision makers who who rule their life they are like puppets they don't know any better basically they think <clears throat> what they seeing that is the reality or what they have been shown that is the reality they don't know they are being used by someone for the e for their ego satisfaction or they are being used by someone just because they are materialistically good to take care of those people so they don't realize all of this for now and this has not got to got anything to do with love or not love because see we love all the people around us but when we don't act according to what our soul wants and we act according to what they want what their materialistic goals are then it's our mistake also you know that we cannot tell them that hey i love this person and i think i must listen to this person i must forgive this person or i must believe in this person i must give them some time or they cannot say this person that you know what i do love you i do miss you a lot but i am really confused right now and i need some space and i need some time none of the divine masculines do that they need space and time but they will humiliate the other person or they will insult the other person because that's the only way they know how to go away from a person they feel that you know this person is chasing me too much or this person is just like literally trying to get on top of me you know and i, I can't even breathe so they they just try to make that person run away and it's good also because if the chaser will not get disrespected and humiliated and insulted they are not going to do any inner work let's face it so here the changes or the good thing is that 
the divine masculine is now feeling quite unhappy unhappy unwell very anxious and the divine masculine doesn't know why is this happening where is this coming from like what is the problem what have i done why is someone putting making me feel like this either they will <clears throat> personally feel this way because they are now surrounded by that energy of people who are treating the divine masculine like a puppet you dance when i make you dance and it's and i've said this in one more channeling that we are all puppets at the hands of god but our puppeteer should be god should be source because source knows the best for us so when we surrender to source we feel very happy because we feel like a mother has taken care of us a lot of people in the twin flame journey actually are looking for a mother they feel that they never got the real love of a mother why why this happened especially the divine feminines will feel this way they 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 feel they don't they are an orphan they don't have anyone who loves them they don't have anyone but when they surrender to source they suddenly feel like they have someone they they are being taken care of and they're not alone anymore they're not an orphan now they have a mother to look after them the mother energy is very powerful and everybody sh can or should revive the mother energy this mother energy is also called divine feminine energy so even the divine masculine is supposed to revive the mother energy in him because mother energy can do wonders mother energy does not work on logic and practicality and this and that then why do we tell the feminines to create the warrior energy because she already has the mother energy what she doesn't have because of bad programming she has been operating on lower frequencies and that's why she cannot treat people properly like she cannot treat bad people that like she cannot whoop their ass she cannot she just takes their nonsense and bad behavior so the day she knows how to give it back to people who deserve it and she the day she can differentiate between fake and real people and she is good to the genuine people or she is good to the genuine parts of people and if she sees that this particular side of a person is not acceptable she will tell them on their face that look you did not do this properly you broke my trust and i don't appreciate it and then she's not going to get friendly with them until and unless she sees a change so these are the things very important things and in this case now that she started doing that and she started as in she he anyone the divine feminine has started taking care of herself on her own what is happening is that the divine masculine has started feeling those vibes that he or she is not happy in their current setup but they need to find out they will investigate eventually the good part is that once the masculine reaches to this point sooner or later they will find out the truth the truth will set them free as of now they don't know any better and the day truth will set them free they will realize it they will make their apologies to whosoever they have to because with the divine masculine other souls other energies are also connected and slowly and gradually the divine masculine will be like no i need to apologize and i need to say sorry and i need to fix this somehow many people are hurt because of my stubbornness many people are irritated with me i should not have behaved like this i should not have acted like this i was not in my right energy and the people who i was trusting and believing they don't love me for real they may be loving me but they have way too much negativity and they are way too insecure so even they need to correct themselves just the way i am correcting myself but all of this is connected to the divine feminines will power confidence strength and faith in source that i don't need to do anything now i leave it to source and let source do whatever they want to do and by doing this automatically the feminine will come in higher energies higher vibration better energies in which the feminine will start experiencing unconditional love when you experience unconditional love because the masculine is also part of you they will also feel it in future so put all your focus on working on yourself and staying in that zone of unconditional love on this note i'm going to close this channeling session thank you so much 
वन लव एंड पीस आउट